Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim and this is Tim the Trail Man. And today we're going to talk about a specific problem with Toyota 4Runners. If you don't have a 4Runner, feel free to skip this video or let me know in the comments below on what type of vehicle you have and what's common on the problems. And for this one, a common problem for the 4Runner is the four-wheel drive actuator. It'll get water in it and ruin the circuit board and will cause a flashing light on the dash like this. And so with that, when that light's flashing, your front four-wheel drive is not working. So with that, there's been a little bit of internet research and some people have tried this out before. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it to Roxanne and see how it goes. So with that, first we need to pull down the skid plate, then apply flex seal, and then we'll let it dry and go from there. So without further ado, let's get started. So to get the TRD skid plate off the front, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter. And so it might be a little noisy here, and so we'll go ahead and take it out. Okay, so I got the TRD skid plate removed. And from here, you can see the four wheel drive actuator, but it'd be pretty hard to apply the flex seal. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this lower oil pan skid plate and that way it'll be easier access to get to the four wheel drive actuator and apply the flex seal. To get the engine oil pan skid plate off, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket. So you can just go ahead and take that off. Okay, so the common spot for the water to get in is where the plastic housing meets the metal housing on the actuator. So we're gonna clean this area and then go ahead and seal that up. I'm also gonna go ahead and put some flex seal around where the actuator bolts up to the front axle as well. Another common area that we're not addressing today is this vacuum or vent line that goes up to the top will leak or get cracked and water can actually flow in through there into the housing as well. Today, we're just gonna go ahead and put the flex seal on there. So let me get started. Okay, to clean it, I'm just gonna use a little bit of car brake cleaner. <laughs> Dry it off nicely. With a rag, if you have compressed air, by all means use compressed air to dry it as well. Get it nice and dry. You can let it sit for a couple minutes as well to uh, make sure that all the chemical has dried, um, whether it be brake clean or something else. Okay, so the reason why I went with this flex seal is because it's in a tube and it's glue instead of a spray or something like that where it'd be a little bit more complicated to apply. So I can just squeeze out what I want, how much. This one is white, so you can see where you are putting it. And I would just lather it up there, put a lot on there, and that way there's no need to save any of it, you know. Just go ahead and cover it up. You can always go back and put more if you want to. It says it takes about 24 to 48 hours to completely dry. So don't go out and do any uh, water crossings or anything like that before that time. Let it do its magic. The finished product looks like this where I put the flex seal around the plastic housing gap where there is a gasket on the inside but it doesn't do as good of a job. And I did want to go ahead and put it around the actuator it is on top, but I can't get that on camera. And so let it dry. I might go back and put some more later on it. Applying this should make the actuator more waterproof, water resistant, and allow it to stay dry on the inside. Okay, so that about wraps up the tutorial on how to make that four wheel drive actuator a little bit more uh, resilient, add some longevity to it, keep the water out of it. Let me know if you've had this problem with your 4Runner before or what you've found on the internet or in personal experience to make it last longer as well. It's a shame that it doesn't stay watertight from the factory from Toyota. They tell you that it's not supposed to go through water or underwater, but it's a four wheel drive vehicle and the 4Runner is definitely an off-road rig. So to me, it just doesn't make sense. And I'm gonna continue to wheel it through water as needed. And hopefully this will make it last longer. Let me know what vehicle you drive and what kind of common problems it has. So as always, thank you for watching. 